Hi, Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches. There were reports of frantic workups in Whangaparoa Bay, so I was out to get some action. The plan was to try some stick baiting first around Tiri Island and look for some workups later in the morning. The first job was to pick the right stick bait. First choice, Zeet's 80 gram blue stick bait. Since I was fishing a light PE3 outfit, I decided to leave the Carpenter Gamma in the bag. I was fishing my favourite stick bait outfit, a Sinnet Van Diemen X24 rod, rated for PE 2 to 4 line, with a max drag of 11 kilos, matched with a Shimano Stella 6000 and PE 3 Osha braid. Such a great combo for the Golf. I cast around a few places including Shearer's Rock. It looked like there was some likely looking bait fish and uh, predators in the area, but I couldn't raise any interest, so changed lures to a small Carpenter Bluefish. It was getting later in the morning and I thought the workups may be starting soon, so I headed over to the area where they'd been sighted the previous two days, in about 30 metres of water north of Tiddy. And there were about 17 boats, but no birds of workup activity, so I decided to drift through the area. And what do you know, first drop, first fish. The second fish was going back. If you bring up a snapper from 30 metres or deeper, it can suffer from barotrauma. An Australian study showed if snapper are quickly returned with minimal handling, they have a good chance of survival. Even if their stomach is poking out, you can carefully puncture it so they can get down quickly. Every 10 minutes or so, I had a little flurry of action from legal sized fish. There was no workup activity, unlike the previous two days, which were running hot with gannets everywhere. So I thought I'd head to Flat Rock and come back later in the day. On the way I came across some predators chasing bait, so it was worth a stop to see if there's anything big lurking around. No decent workup so far, the day wasn't really going according to plan. Next stop was Flat Rock for some stick baiting. I changed again this time to a Maria Rapido 100 gram lure. Sometimes bright lures on dull days work better, and sure enough, I had a 12-13 kilogram kingfish. Have a swipe at my lure, but it didn't connect. A few more casts, but he wasn't coming back or opening his mouth anymore, so I changed back to the zeets. And sure enough, a pair of legal rat kings were swarming all over my lure. Oh man, so close. And again they lost interest. That didn't go according to plan. So I drifted over some seamounts drifting slow jigs and up popped a small blue cod. It was time to head back and see if the workups were happening. With the wind picking up I threw out the drogue and drifted, I kept scanning the horizon for activity. After 15 minutes of drifting, I pulled in the chute, ah, and there was a cockroach hanging on for dear life. Well, I guess it just wasn't his day. There's a few different ways to drift fish fishing with two rods. There's the taking turns, lift and drop. Then there's the ADHD lift and drop. Then there's the, look, no hands, I'm lazy, no lift and drop. Then there's the synchronised lift and drop. Could be a new Olympic sport. I was heading home and saw some birds working, so I had one last shot. Here we go. Flick the old bruised banana soft bait out and... What the? Well, that didn't go according to plan. Well, that kind of summed up my day. It didn't go quite according to plan, 
but I had fish for dinner, so you know what, there's still a good time on the water. This is Scott from Digital Fish with Content That Catches.